America's world of tomorrow is ready for its formal debut, the mighty exhibition which is a monument to imagination, showmanship and industry. To see the exhibits of 58 nations, crowds pour in from subways, trains, buses and cars, half a million strong. And for 40,000 invited guests, the moment has come. <laughs> President Roosevelt, with his son John behind him on the right, speaks in the Court of Peace. I hereby dedicate the World's Fair, the New York World's Fair of 1939, and I declare it open to all mankind. The fair opens on the 150th anniversary of the inauguration of George Washington, and the father of his country looks out towards the British Pavilion, one of the outstanding exhibits in the world of tomorrow. And against the background of darkness, the New York World's Fair becomes a painting in light.